See you please. Hey there, this is Tio bringing another Kerbal Space Program video. So in today's video, the uh, fourth video of my series, I will be rescuing Ortis, a stranded Kerbinat from the, the pole, near the poles of a uh, lathe. So this is a rescue contract in my career mode. Again, all of Lathe's le lathe legacies will be recorded in career mode, which means he needs to be rescued from the surface and then brought all the way back to Kerbin. So in this video, my goal with this vehicle you see on screen is to island hop and refuel and hopefully eventually find Ortis and get him into a, a rescue, more, more rescuable position. So this is one of the first times I really used this rocket. It was intended to be an SSTO, meaning it doesn't lose any any parts or any substantial mass besides fuel. And um, it's supposed to be orbit capable. And I realized it doesn't have a whole lot of extra fuel, so I can I can get to orbit and I can deorbit, but can't do much more than that. So I can't rendezvous very efficiently. I can't um, adjust my orbit between flights very well. So if I need to go from um, one place to another that's inclined, you know, that, that's going to be an issue. So it's fine for this island hopping sort of uh, flight plan. So I've got an engineer on board. He repacks the parachutes and he helps speed up the refueling. And, yep, I'm going to hop back in the rocket and just take off again. I'm going to continue to use these little suborbital flights to get all the way to or Ortis and rescue him. So one issue I had with these, with this mission in particular is uh, late. Look at all that water, lots and lots of water. So not a whole lot of options for landing and the options that there are are not very flat. So um, as is typical with my YouTube videos, I, I try to cut out some of the unnecessary Failures. I like to show you some failures. A lot of late legacies is based on failure, but uh, this is the only attempt where I could land in a reasonable location. And by reasonable, I mean in the water in a horizontal position. So <laughs> the rocket didn't explode. We'll, we'll count it as a win. I'm, I'm trying to transfer all the fuel, as you can see, to the lower fuel tanks, hopefully to kind of pitch my nose up a hair. But um, yeah, that's the best I could do. So thankfully, that craft that that he was rescued from didn't just roll down the hill and explode with him in it I mean, that would have been terrible uh, game design in my opinion but anyway i'm gonna walk all the way down this hill to my rescue craft great rescue guys thanks for that having to walk down the mountain anyway <laughs> but uh yeah we'll, we'll try to take off from the from this position in the water and uh we'll see if this this save point was a massive failure or not and I can hop up on the wings there and get up and I uh, you know no spoilers but uh, definitely didn't take off correctly the first time I don't have a lot of fuel so I decided if I can at least get up to the surface here I'll, I'll count that as a win so I think you saw some some damage I might have broken off one of the little decorative nose cones on the bottom of the ship but the rest of the ship is all in one piece so I count that as a win did a quick a uh, little bit of editing so that you don't see all that refueling. That refueling does take quite a while. But uh got my Kerbal rescued. He's in the ship. I got lots of fuel. So from this point on, I'm, I'm counting it as pretty much a guaranteed success. I know I can island hop as many times as I need to. And um, I'll eventually either get to a position where I can get to orbit, a nice equatorial orbit, along with the, the station in orbit of Lathe. Or I can just get back to the... Uh, to the surface station where I've got other vehicles and um, I've got another Kerbal that needs to be rescued there anyway. So that's the plan. I'm not going to go orbital with this. My plan is to get to the space station. So as I say that, I am technically in orbit, but I'm going to deorbit at the right point to rendezvous with the, the station on land. I could not rendezvous with the space station with the fuel that I have left. So. I can deorbit with the help of parachutes and atmosphere, so that's what's that's what's really nice about lathe, and it's why I'm sure lots of folks make videos with lathe and and, and Kerbin for that matter. The air the atmosphere gives you a lot of uh, fun capabilities for flights like this. So I'm gonna land as close as I can to the space center on uh, on lathe, but I'm uh, 
I'm content not landing too close. Again, I don't like having lots of ports in physics range of each, range of each other. So I'm going to send this handy dandy contracopter, which I had parked four out off on its own anyway. So it's going to go and pick up my Kerbal and bring him the rest of the way to the, uh, the space center. So I don't have a name. There it is off to the left, those two uh, reddish, maroonish, whatever, magenta reticles. That's the uh, the surface station on lathe. I don't have a name for it. So if anybody has any interesting ideas for a lathe surface station, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, I will consider, he heavily consider using any non-vulgar names in uh, future videos for that station. I've got one station on the surface. I've got one station out in the water and one up in orbit. And uh, I plan to be using all three of those in, in future videos. So contracopters doing okay, running out of a battery charge as we get closer. Um, unfortunately, throttling down does not affect battery consumption at all because my throttle controls the pitch of the blades. So the rotors are set to the same torque output and RPMs and all that constantly. So the throttling up and down does not affect battery consumption. So anyway, flew all the way here. Um, can extend the ladder, take out my, my passenger. I will leave the engineer for now with this rocket because he's pretty critical to the rocket's function. He repacks the parachutes and helps it fuel up faster. So um, maybe one day I'll, I'll just decommission the rocket or uh, stop using it temporarily and I can come collect the engineer and bring him to the living quarters, I suppose. But, um, but that's it for this video. I've got my new Kerbal, Ortis, partially rescued. He needs to get all the way back to Kerbin. And that'll happen in the next video. I've got a, a, a reason now to use my new medium SSTO from the previous video. Put the, uh, the passenger module into that SSTO, come down and collect both of my rescued Kerbals, because now I've got two. One that was in the water off the East Coast, and one that was up on the pole. So, appreciate you for tuning in. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I uh, hope to see you again very soon for rescuing these two and finishing these two contracts. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.